Hey everybody, it's BK Stunt here with Dead Space 3. I am doing the uh, first optional mission, um, explore the Greeley, CMS Greeley. You can see we're here in the skip. The main quest wants us to go to the Terra Nova. As you can see, it's uh, flashing at it, but we're going to do the Greeley. Because why not? Might as well throw all the optional missions in the videos. Also, this is the first time I'm doing a uh, live audio commentary. The Elgato software was updated recently to include a very easy way to do live commentary. So I'm trying it out. We'll see how it goes, I guess. So usually my house is a madhouse with all the noises, but it's late at night. Just me and my cat, Jack. So it should be good. Okay, let's uh, let's do this really quick. Do -do 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 -do. Let's do this. So that way, when I do my uh, when I do my beam thing, it will actually point to the optional mission instead of the main mission. I read my guide before I, uh, there's some oxygen. I read my guide before I started this. It said there were some containers. Indeed. Feel them. Ah, oh, good enough. Let's get out of here. Or hit by a mine or something. All the optional missions in the story. Hey, little guy. Coward. All the optional missions in the story have really good uh, storylines. Probably not as good as the co op missions, but. Oh well. All the optional missions give you lots of good stuff, too, so it's a good idea to, you know, take the 20, 20 to 30 minutes and run through them. Hey Santos, I made it inside the Greeley. Any luck with that encrypted message? No, but if you can find the source, maybe we can find a way to decrypt it. Roger that. Isaac out. Okay, this first room in here has a couple of lockers. And a compact frame in the corner there. And... You know, I'm pretty sure we get jumped by something on our way back out. But for now, let's just head down. Man, I love that suit. There we go. You can see it making its way through the vents. Santos, looks like parts of the ship are sealed off. Sealed? On purpose? Do you think you can get it open? I'm not sure. If I can get the power on, I may be able to lift the security lock down. Hold on. Alright, so that's our goal for right now, is get the power on. check out this door right here this is a uh, torque door and wants a torque bar we do not have any made yet but by the time we're done with this optional mission we'll have we'll have one at least see the bench is powered off here's a room that wants a key card we're very limited on options and where to go 
we literally have no choice but to uh, head down these stairs in our quest to turn the power back on. And it's been a long time since I played this, so I might jump at a couple things. originating from the radio room. Set my waypoint. It's I'll coming, I'm sure. Oh, you know what? I may be thinking of the Bruce Love. It's got a power room that looks exactly like this. Found the radio room. Just give me a minute to release this lockdown. something bad is going to happen in here. Okay. Yeah, there's a puzzle in here. That's right. And the door they want us to go through is that one. we got to solve this puzzle first. And this is a fuse box puzzle. Basically, we got to make it so the lights and the... Uh, what does that say? CPU? both have sufficient power they both have to be in the green basically and I'm gonna cheat I got my uh, so you can switch them on and off like that I got my guide pulled up basically tells me what to do okay so you want the first two to the right and then you want the fourth one to the right and that should do it Dr. Barton, someone is broadcasting a coded message planetside. Who are you trying to contact? Dr. Serrano? Tell me! And when you get that done, I don't know. it will automatically play this audio recording. I'll let you guys listen to it on your own. If that's where they want to die, let them cut the ship's power. 
It'll kill their life support and cripple the transmission. What about the other? You know the orders. No one lives. Understood. That's a pretty cool audio recording. Okay, so we're back in the main room now. Good thing I got a shit ton of health. And they just gave me a ton of health just right there. Okay, so we powered up the bench. Might as well use it. Let's see if we can make a uh, torque bar yet. And we cannot. We need more tungsten. Ah, damn it. Oh well, let's store some health. You can hear that sound. That's the uh, scavenging bot sound. We do not have a scavenging bot. So he wants to go down there, but first, let's visit the bathroom. Ha, ah, here's an upgrade circuit. Some lockers. Shower is running. And that's about it. It's a good scavenging point apparently. Okay. Here's the experimenting area. Lots of boxes in this room. More importantly, there is a alien artifact here somewhere. One of these purple lighted areas. Here we go. Alien artifact. Gotta have it. And once you get all that stuff, go ahead and head down. Pretty sure they jump you sooner or later here.
Yeah, he's pretty much going to grab you every time. <laughs> you have very little time. I guess I could have done a back dash or something. I guess I could have been cool. Well, too late for that. thingies. I guess you could just let them grab you and do this instead of wasting ammo. Those things infect dead bodies. Look at all the ammo they're giving us here. things infect bodies like that and turn them into necromorphs. So that's why it's a grand idea to stomp up dead bodies. Oh, okay. Stomp this guy up a little bit. So, dangerous, dangerous, dangerous electricity. We're going to take the panel off, take out the semiconductor. And uh, see here on the left and the right, there's uh, these are called gravity plates. They're basically, you know, they're going to kill you if you step on them. This whole ship's going to be full of these things here in a minute. But we can, of course, grab the boxes. Doing that. No reason to kill ourselves. get over there if we wanted to anyways. Okay, so here's a weapon part. Electric charge. Very appropriate for the room. Remember the first time I was in this area I didn't know what the heck to do. Like after getting past the uh, electricity. Apparently you're supposed to grab this thing and uh, hold circle. Turns the power on, it plays this uh, audio message, which you can listen to later on. And it gives you uh, Ingstrom's office key, which we need for that one room. Okay, now that we got that, let's head back to the office. Easier said than done, of course. So there are these things infecting bodies. Apparently come out of nowhere. Oh Jesus. Oh man. Okay, so smashing up bodies beforehand doesn't do much of anything. What is that horrible noise? Uh, I think I pulled out something I shouldn't have. The gravity plating is tearing itself apart. The you can see there the, the uh, gravity plate killed that surface. necromorph. Did you find a way to decode it? Yeah, the encryption key is in the office of Laura Ingstrom. Oh, let me see if I can find it. Yes, here she is. I'll send it to your locator. Let's 
see as you walk along the plating is just going to start doing that. So just move through here slowly. This room's no big deal, but the room up above is much worse. As you can tell. And we're gonna be attacked by uh, necromorphs out here. It's a pretty good corner to fight in. Okay, I gotta be quick. Let's go in here. We're almost done, but I'm trying to keep these videos 20 minutes. This one's already gone over. Ah, some tungsten. This is what's gonna let us open that door. Gotta be quick. So the big thing in here is tungsten and the encryption files. I'm sending you the decryption key now. I see it. Hold on, I'll apply it to the message. Hydroset? Who's she? They must have been trying to hide her from the execution order. Her research could be the key to all of this. But why issue a cleanse order if it would destroy such an important secret? Maybe they panicked. Or maybe they knew something we didn't. Isaac, thanks for looking into this. It could prove very useful. Good to hear. Oh, I'm heading back. We've got a long road ahead of us. Isaac out. Hydrosetta. Well, that's part of the, um... That's something you'll see show up in the main storyline. So here, uh, you see I made a torque bar. I installed a torque bar. I'm using the torque bar. And this is all for the items in this room. Of course, the game bases your completion percentage on if you collect all the weapon parts. And here's a weapon part, so we need to get into this room. So, we got telemetry spike. We got an upgrade circuit. We got a couple of containers. Not bad. 
Not as good as other torque rooms we'll come across, but not bad. I'd open every single one of them. And that's uh, all there is to this optional mission. We just gotta fight our way back outside now. Or not. Here's a suit kiosk if you want to use it. Okay. Well, you know, I'm not sure if it even tells you if you're done or not. Does it? Are we done? Okay, yeah, we're done. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, doing the uh, first optional mission in Dead Space Three. I had fun. <laughs> I got my ass handed to me once or twice, but that's cool. We lived through it. It's all that really counts. All that really matters. Okay, guys, well, join me in the next video. We'll do the uh, Terra Nova section for the game's main storyline. Okay, see y'all later. Bye.